Australian author John Marston, with over 30 books written and over 5 million sold worldwide, is the popular author, to say the least. However, contrasting with his current life of success, wealth, and happiness, Marston's young adult novels feature dark issues, such as war, crime, broken family ties, deceit, and torment. These conflicts are not random, though, as they reflect within Marston's works for a reason. They tie back to his very troubled early life. John Marston was born on September 27, 1950, in Melbourne, Australia. With two sisters and a brother, John's family first moved to the country town of Kyneton and then to Devonport. After being in these temporary Australian towns, Marston's family moved permanently and finally settled in Sydney in 1960 when he was nine years old. Here, John was enrolled into the King's School Parramatta, a school recognized for its strict military style of education. Australia was involved in the Korean War prior to the 1960s, assembling forces with the United Nations in response to a North Korean attack on South Korea. Thus, an emphasis on firm, military standards, even within schools for younger students, was not uncommon. With violent and abusive teachers, Marston stated that the King's School was both a destructive atmosphere as well as an area of negative energy. Despite this, he completed his education here until he was finally accepted into the University of Sydney to study Law and Arts in 1968. Shortly after, in 1969, Marston dropped out of the university at the age of 19. Disappointing his parents, he realized that law was not suited for him. In addition to this, Marston was also very shy and self-conscious. Making friends at college was not easy for him. Once he left college, he spent a period of 10 years searching for jobs. He tried over 32 jobs, such as selling and working in a slaughterhouse. But despite all of his efforts, no occupation satisfied his desires. Marston felt alienated and unsettled and was soon diagnosed with depression. Barely supporting himself and experiencing some family rifts, Marston was admitted into a psychiatric hospital. Marston's misfortune turned around when he became an English teacher at G. Long Grammar School when he was 28 years old. He loved teaching, began to write novels, and was sure that he had found his passion. Marston's career as an author began when he published his first novel, So Much to Tell You, in 1987. The main character, Marina, is a silent outcast because of a traumatizing acid accident that occurred with her father. Because Marina experiences isolation from her peers, distant relationships with her parents, and time in a psychiatric hospital, Marina is a fictional portrayal of Marston himself. It is important to note that when this book was published in 1987, suicide rates were at an all-time high, with a rate of 12.8 people committing suicide per 100,000 among Americans. This helps to explain why the book, with a tone so gloomy as the melancholy Marina silently hates the world, gained instant appeal. In the end, Marina overcomes her muteness and forgives herself along with those who hurt her to ultimately take a step towards maturity. This theme of individual development is common in Marston's works because Marston experienced extreme lows in his adolescence, but yet he was able to find purpose after defeating problems like depression and financial instability. This is similarly shown in his book, Letters from the Inside, published in 1991, as the protagonist Tracy is a teenage criminal in a high-security prison named Garrett. Marston gained some inspiration for this character when he was arrested in 1982 while attempting to stop construction of the Franklin Dam. The Franklin Dam project was proposed in 1978 in Tasmania, Australia, and caused controversy among citizens. On the bright side, Marston's experience in a harsh jail helped him later on, while he wrote the vulgar details of Tracy's violent life in prison. Tracy sees fights, is involved in some herself, and is always concerned with being the tough top dog in order to intimidate others. Yet, 
Eventually, Tracy is able to drop her aggressive persona and act more graciously towards those around her. Another novel by Marston, Tomorrow When the War Began, was published in 1993. It was so intriguing that it was made into a movie. The main character is a young girl named Ellie. She leads a group of teens as they fight a war against a foreign invader. In John Marston's novel Checkers, published in 1996, a nameless girl in a psychiatric ward writes about her struggles as she mourns over losing her beloved dog that her father murdered. Marston's trilogy, called The Ellie Chronicles, began being published in 2003 and is a continuation of the Tomorrow When the War Began series. Perhaps the most noticeable aspect of Marston's writing is his emphasis on teenage empowerment, as protagonists such as Marina, Tracy, and Ellie are always adolescent characters that must deal with burdening problems. He shows that teenagers are capable of being both bold and wise, since they are able to turn the cheek and move on to greater endeavors. And the reason those books were so powerful for teenagers is that they were saying to teenagers that they had capacities far beyond anything that they were themselves aware of, and certainly capacities far beyond anything adults gave them credit for. So that's very much a theme. Of Aside from novels, John Marston continues to strengthen teenagers. In 2006, Marston took his love for writing further and started a school revolved around literature. Candlebark School in the Macedon Ranges, where he is currently the school principal. Here, Marston shifts away from the traditional classroom style, avoiding textbooks and lectures. Marston married his wife, Kristen, in 2011. They now have six kids. He enjoys writing, but aside from that, he likes playing Scrabble and Cricket. He currently lives happily with success that is well deserved. While Marston lived a difficult early life of moving, failing, searching, and eventual depression, his obstacles became opportunities that shaped his most powerful novels. His young adult works deliver themes such as developing through maturity using teenage protagonists in order to redefine the societal stereotypes that others use to negatively label teens. Marston's struggles continue to influence young readers who can seek refuge within his novels during the early years of difficulty and hopelessness. Aside from his readers, Marston inspires students to live compassionately and creatively.